Parents and teachers, cybercrime is everywhere. I wanna show you how to keep your family safe online from hackers. I want you to know how very bad this problem is. And then I'm gonna show you a couple ways, simple ways you can use to fix it. My name is Josh Oaks and I'm excited that you're here with smartsocial.com to dive into this topic with me. I'm gonna show you everything on the next video. If you're a member, you're gonna see how I change my passwords in a way to keep cyber criminals away from my accounts. It is revolutionary, it's simple. You may be wondering, why do I need this? I don't need this. I'm gonna show you how very important it is to your family. If you think you don't need it, that's exactly what the cyber criminals want you to think. They, they want you to think, oh, I'm fine, it'll never happen to me, and I'm gonna show you how it's happening to a majority of America. First of all, hackers can get in popular apps. Massive words with friends hack exposes 218 million account login details. Forbes, unsecured Facebook database databases leak data of 419 million users. Now, let me show you how Dropbox got hacked. Now, with what happened here, it helped Dropbox to get hacked. You see, let's say I use the same password for Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Gmail, and Bank of America, right? Facebook gets hacked or one of these other words with friends gets hacked, right? The next thing, if Facebook gets hacked, hackers will find the databases on the web. I mean, there's these things where they sell them, the username and password. It could be Josh and the password could be 12345, right? Yeah, but that's for Facebook. Yeah, but if you use 12345 or your dog's name, they could try and my email and plus password combination on hundreds of other sites. This is how hackers got into Dropbox, because check this out. Facebook was breached, but they tried it on all Dropbox and, and Instagram and all these other places, right? And so once one is hacked, then they can just run around to the other ones with those credentials. Credentials are like the key to get into all these other. If you left your key out in front of your house, people would be a bad person to be like, well, let me just go try all these houses. Right? There's a good chance that this person dropped it while they're leaving the house. Well, if you don't use the same password for every network, here's what happens. If I have a unique password for each network, then hackers can only get access to that one network, my Facebook. They could not get into my Dropbox, Gmail, etc. However, having 100 unique passwords is difficult. I know what you're thinking, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I don't have anything they want. That's exactly what they want you to stay. Say, so stay with me. So, Facebook over here gets hacked, right? They can't get into Dropbox and all these other systems, all my other accounts, because that password is so unique. Yeah, it could be my email address is the username, but the password is unique. I'm gonna show you how to set this up and make your life so, so, so very easy. Now, Inc. Magazine says, Google says 66% of Americans still do this one thing that puts their personal information at a huge risk. Here's how Google wants to help. The company's rolling out a new privacy and password set of tools to help us keep our private information private. In fact, 66% of Americans, almost two-thirds surveyed, say that they reuse the same passwords for their online banking, email, and social media networks. Remember what I showed you. If you do that, then it allows them to get into everything else. But if you don't, it doesn't. Now, how do you store passwords? Well, it's hard to remember all of them, and if you're like my dad, many people have a sheet of paper or a note on their phone to save all their passwords, but not anymore. My parents now are doing it this way. They didn't like it for the first five minutes, and then now they're like, wow, this makes total sense, and they're completely on board. Your passwords, when my parents would travel, this little notepad they had couldn't travel with them. If they lost it, people could get into everything, right? So what's a password manager? Well, a password manager creates and stores unique passwords across every website or account. And with a password manager, you create a single master password that you remember, it's actually pretty easy. Once again, my parents did it, they didn't want it, but now they see the value and they're like, wow, this is powerful. And every time they see a breach on TV, Facebook was hacked, this was hacked, I go look, this software that we're using, and I'm gonna show you exactly what the software is, this software, it's keeping us safe, this won't happen to us, right? And they go, yeah, yeah, and they nod their heads, they, they totally get it now. The password manager creates and, and stores the rest of your passwords so you don't have to remember them, and they're all unique. Password managers in the news. If you're not using a password manager, says Wirecutter, a New York Times company, 
Start now. A password manager makes you less vulnerable online by generating strong random passwords, syncing them securely across your browsers and devices and filling them in automatically. A lot of people say, but I heard this and I heard this. I was at, I was literally out with some friends the other day and a random person said, I heard this and it was completely wrong. It's hilarious. So all what I want you to do here right now is just set the I heard's aside and let me show you what the world's biggest companies are saying. Using a password manager is far better for your overall security than not using one. TechCrunch, huge company, awesome. We trust them. PC Magazine says it's never been more necessary to secure your online accounts with a password manager and two-factor authentication where available. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to work on your phone. It's going to work on your iPad. It's going to work on your computer, your laptop, and everything else. The benefits of having them. Creating strong and unique passwords can be difficult, especially if you have a lot of passwords. The password manager is going to do this for you, make your life easier. All your passwords will be encrypted and safe. The benefits ha of having them. M most password managers sync across all of your devices. The one I'm going to show you does. So you don't have to worry about typing long passwords with the little keyboard on your cell phone. Many password managers will auto fill in online forms with your saved data, even on your cell phone. Why do families need a manager? Password managers drastically reduce the possibility of your family becoming a victim of ransomware, identity theft, malware, phishing, and other attacks. They can store passwords for each person in your family. My parents share one login for the password manager, and their, their, all their accounts they share, the bank account, the uh, Amazon.com, Netflix, everything else, they, they, uh, it, it's just seamless. Their life is so much easier now. And they're like, thank you, this is kind of cool. I mean, they pushed back a little bit, but now they love it, right? For example, if everyone in your family has a Gmail account, the password manager will store each individual username and password. We constantly hear about data breaches. Why should we, why should we do this? Well, password managers provide that peace of mind. You can easily change your password on a compromised account without hackers getting access to your other accounts. Now, ransomware is a type of malicious software that I want to tell you about, and it holds your personal digital data for ransom. It's not going to happen to me, Josh. That happens down the street. That happens across the country. That's not going to happen to me. Well, if you're affected by ransomware, you cannot gain access to your personal data without paying a fine. Josh, I'm not worth millions of dollars. They're not going to want to go after me. Well, most ransomware is disguised as a valid file in an email. And here's how it's attacked on families. Ransomware holds your computer files hostage. I don't have millions of dollars. I don't need this, Josh. Well, USA Today says lazy criminals get rich off emailed ransomware. I sat down on my computer to open a file and a box popped up and said I had to pay 250 Bitcoin, about $2,000 to get my files back, which were encrypted. Josh, I'm not worth much money. This is an, this is an important thing. Well, look at this, David. Uh, well, Teresa and Billy uh, paid $800 in ransomware to get precious family photos of their three young boys back from cyber criminals. Ransomware victims pay cyber criminals to basically save family photos. Yeah, but I'm not, I, I, I've got other ways. It's in my iPhone. Okay. Well, why is it dangerous? The bad guys want you to say, I'm not rich or famous. I don't have anything. You're going to want to steal. However, do you have something the bad guys, you do have something the bad guys want. You have real relationships with your contacts. They will impersonate you, send ransomware to all your contacts and try and get them. It's embarrassing to you because you'll send out this email saying, here's my nude photos. Uh, you're, they'll take over. They'll send this email out that's your nude photos, but it won't be your nude photos. It'll be a link to ransomware. Oh, my friends are too smart for that. Turns out it happens all the time. They'll also seal all your digital photos, not let you access them. Now, Everyone in your email contact list is at risk. If you're infected, the bad guys can email your contacts on your behalf, infect their computer. Since your contacts know you and trust you, this makes it easy for an attacker to track, trick your friends and family. What can you do? Never use the same password on multiple accounts. Password manager, I'm gonna show you in the next video if you're a member. Only log into websites that start with HTTPS. Avoid using, now what's that? That means along the top, it's your, if, if it's not HTTPS, there's some websites that are, are not, a, they, it, it says warning, it doesn't have the little green secure thing, right? We're gonna go over real fast to smartsocial.com. You're gonna notice that it's gonna have this little tiny lock. You see this lock here, guys? Connection is secure. Your information, passwords or credit card numbers are private when sent to the site, right? Okay, <clears throat> now, um, avoid using personal information on your passwords. Instead, create a long password with, with unique characters. 
Uh, more password security best practices. Keep them private. Never share them with your best friend. I get calls all the time. My daughter's being bullied. Someone got into their Instagram, their Snapchat, yada, yada, yada. Well, did they share their password with their best friend? Yes, but, but it's a, you know. Okay, well, that happened. Okay, next. If you don't have password managers, write all your passwords on a sheet of paper, seal it in an envelope, and give it to your parents for safekeeping. And that way they can open it up in case you don't answer your phone or something's wrong and they need to find out where you're at. Why can't I share my password with my best friend? You may trust them with juicy gossip, but don't trust them with your password. What if they have a bad day, decide to log into your accounts? This happens all the time. They're your best friend until they share something or they're not your best friend. They could, they could send an inappropriate message or post something on your account that can negatively affect your future and they thought it was funny. Sharing your passwords puts your physical and digital security at risk. When you share your password, you have no way of guaranteeing the person you told won't tell someone else. Now, anyone with your password can go through your messages and pictures. A hurt friend could try and embarrass you by sharing your email secrets, or they could unlock your phone and send negative, inappropriate, or threatening text messages to your contacts. Sharing your online life with a friend can have a negative impact on your friendship. Anyone with your password can change it, lock you out of it, and stuff. If your friend says they need your password in order to trust you, they're not your real friend. Tell your parent or teacher, give your password only to your parents. Here's an example of a student from the New York Times. A high school junior gave her email password to her first boyfriend. They should share everything since they're dating, right? Wrong. Uh, her boyfriend began reading all of her emails, found one she sent to another boy. He then forwarded the email to the whole school and embarrassed his girlfriend out of jealousy. <clears throat> it might feel like you're strengthening your relationship with someone if you exchange passwords, but you're not. Learning to have a pass, uh, positive and open dialogue will have more of an impact on your relationship than sharing passwords ever will. It's difficult to determine exactly who published a post and colleges are watching. Colleges and employers might pass you up because someone else posted something negative on your account. Remember, you're responsible for everything on your stuff that shows up on your, your online profile unless there's proof to show otherwise. Basically, your resume are your Google results and if you're, you give out your password or you're breached, then it's everywhere. College student was kicked out but claims she was hacked. Tufts expelled the student for grade hacking. She claims innocence. You're guilty until, unless you can prove it. Look at that. You're guilty unless you can prove it. There's just one problem in almost every instance that the school accused the, fill, the filler of hacking. She was elsewhere with proof of her whereabouts or an eyewitness account and without the laptop she's accused of using. So you just got to be really careful, right? Colleges and employers could see the effects of password breach. Colleges and employers are now researching candidates' digital footprints. If your online footprint is mostly positive, but you also have random negative posts, it could look bad. Candidates with clean footprints are favored of those who have random negative posts. Now, I got to be honest, this is all connected. Wait, what does this have to do with college? It's all connected. Trust us. Now, this is the end of the lesson. Comment on this page. Join our podcast. Download the app. I'm going to show you here real quick, guys, just really fast how to get a free password manager. On the next video, I'm going to teach you how I share, how I, we're going to update my password on a major website. I'm going to give you my password and you could actually log in and steal all my data, but I'm going to change it live and I won't show you the new one. And it'll show you how very easy if, it, if there's a breach of failure, how you can change it on the new thing. It's powerful. Well, I don't need that yet. All I want you to do is just consider you might need it because what I'm sharing with you is so powerful for people. So check this out real quick. All right. So we see Smart Social down here. Download our app. If you don't have it, give us a rating re review. Um, I mean, listen to some of our stuff. Now go down to, uh, go over to resources. See resources in the bottom right. Resources, check this out. And then watch this. Avoid ransomware with Dashlane Password Manager, guys. And I'm going to give this to you. You get a free six months, okay? Free six months. It's awesome. Put your email in there. This is the tool I'm going to teach you. And I'm going to show you in the next video. It's super easy. It's super free. You can also go to smartsocial.com forward slash dash lane, dash lane. Okay. That's the best password manager we've found. I pay for it every year. My staff pays for it. It's awesome. Please consider picking it up. And I just gave you six months for free because cybercrime is everywhere. How to keep your family safe from online hackers. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. 
please rate subscribe and review no matter where you're watching this uh, make sure you're a member monthly members are less than 10 bucks a month annual or less than 100 and you can help us support us with more videos like this join me on the next video see you soon